Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another update and also Happy New Year because I think this is going to be the first video that we are launching off and starting this year with. So hopefully everyone had a great, safe, happy, blessed New Year's and a start to a brand new one. Crazy how fast time flies. But to maybe start up and open up this year's is today's update is I really want to start and kick off this year by essentially talking a little bit again about the fourth stimulus check. Essentially really talking Talking about whatever really ever ended up happening to those $2,000 fourth stimulus checks that we were kind of mentioned about la last year and whether or not it's still possible. Because the big idea right now is, is that maybe as a very, very quick just summary to what's been going on is, is that of course last year we were promised the fourth stimulus package, if you guys remember. The really, really great news is, is that they did end up successfully delivering the promise on approving the fourth stimulus physical infrastructure side of the package. However, of course, the hard news is, is that they struggled to approve the fourth stimulus social infrastructure package. And of course, even more so, um, the fourth stimulus checks, so the actual, you know, federal stimulus checks that was supposed to go on to all 50 states, sadly actually ended up being sidelined. Now, what that being said is, is that we do have some brand new information to expect, which is what I want to talk about this year. So today's update is pretty much all going to be about that and I also maybe want to just talk in the second half of this video about maybe certain programs that might actually be very much actually available right now that maybe you can apply for if these programs happen to apply for your state because these are very, very specific niche programs depending on just your specific demographic. But I figured hopefully, especially during a time when there's still, of course, a lot of need, maybe it will be of interest and it can help maybe even just a certain percentage, hopefully as many as possible, uh, but groups of people. So with that being said, we're gonna get started, but as always the same exact drill, consider smashing the like button. If you guys enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. Huge thanks if you guys have been here for so long. Hopefully everyone had a great happy new year's. Uh, and as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts, maybe how long you've been around here because I know it's been a while and we are now at the two year anniversary of the pandemic. I've been following this since before it even reached America when it was only in Asia. So it is just so wild and crazy to think how fast time flies. But with that being said, let's get this video started. So maybe to start with the fourth stimulus check, since this is the part that probably applies to the most number of us and you know we try to be as inclusive as possible and this applies to all 50 states, is that there are really two sides of the story that's going on right now. The first side is really about what the people, like so people like us, are currently trying to do to push for more stimulus checks. And then the other side of the story is really about what's been going on with Congress. So to maybe start about the side with us, us. What's happening right now is, is that as most of you guys know is, is that there is a petition that's going on to try to reach 3 million signatures to preach for $2,000 monthly signature or $2,000 monthly stimulus checks. Now the great news is, is that we actually came very very close to the goal of 3 million. This is directly from the actual petitions official website which shows you the actual live count about how many signatures we have. The story I I believe is that as of the time I'm making this video, which is in the very beginning of the year, we now officially collected about 2,996,807, if I remember, signatures, which means that we are literally less than 4,000 signatures from the goal of reaching 3 million. Now the original goal is that they really wanted to be able to do this by the very, very end of this year, but of course they did sadly come a little bit short of it. Now the great news is, is that this petition at the end of the day it still does exist. It's still very, very much on the table. So what they're hoping to do is, is to finally get those last couple thousand signatures, which is basically, the, I mean, four, less than 4,000. That represents basically not even a half percent, I'm pretty sure, of the goal that they were trying to go for. So the idea is that at this point is, is that they're hoping to finally complete that. Then what they're going to do is, is to take that petition and bring it into Congress to try to preach for it again. Now at this current time, we don't know the story about what they're going to say. However, 
because we do see the rise in the Omicron cases coming back again, because we are now starting to see brand new records, and because they are still at the end of the day talking about the fourth stimulus social package since it never got approved, which may actually maybe be an actual silver lining now because it means that there's still time to try to negotiate something. It means that it's very probable that they might bring back the discussions about the fourth stimulus checks again. We're not saying it's going to happen, but what we are saying is, is that there's at least action happening. And I think that's the most important thing. Now, when it comes to what's been going on on the Congress' side, since they are the ones that obviously have a lot of power when it comes to decision making, um, is that there was a recent article that just came out right here. Now, way back around May, if you guys remember, or you know, maybe as a quick recap, is that Kamala Harris at that time period, when she was the vice president, also when she was running for the vice president position, actually, even you know during the election, year, she essentially talked about how she really wanted to support proposing $2,000 monthly stimulus checks. And this was something that they actually really talked about during their campaign, if you guys remember. Well, the story what's going on right now is, is that there are now a lot of people that are trying to resurface her tweet that she made on Twitter from back then, asking essentially, well, Mrs. Harris, you know, you promised us $2,000 stimulus checks, whatever ever happened ended up happening to that. And so the story is what's happening now is, is that they're trying to essentially bring up the cause again to really try to remind her and just to remind Congress in general is that there was a point that they were trying to push for $2,000 stimulus checks. We don't know what really ended up happening, but because obviously we are seeing a reversal and once again with the Omicron situation, that maybe it's something that they should consider once again, especially now that they are still negotiating about that. So she hasn't actually responded to that ever since then. Most of Congress has still been relatively quiet, but we at least are, are starting to see people come out to speak about it. And they're speaking in response to the things that Congress previously said over the last couple of months directly from their words. So what's great is, is that it means that at least it comes from something that's relatively official. Of course, the just neutral thing that's going on is, is that we just have to see how they respond, which we haven't actually gotten a physical response yet. So we don't know what's gonna happen, but at least we're still seeing word about it and things that are being that are happening to try to preach for more. Now, when it comes to maybe moving now onto actual stimulus check programs that are available, I will say maybe one thing is is that the the big thing I think is that if we're trying to look for any relief at this current specific time, because obviously there's a strong sense of urgency for a lot of people, the big thing is is that as most people know is that there are indeed many states that are now trying to do their own individual stimulus checks. We did make a past video about that, so we won't talk as much about that in today's video, but we will actually say one thing is, is that there are actually brand new states and even cities now that are thinking about trying to create their own version of a stimulus check, but as in like more that are physically coming. California is obviously the biggest one. This article talks about another one that recently came up which is essentially that um, I think the most recent one is probably the one that happened in St. Louis, Missouri. Essentially what happened is that they recently just approved and opened up applications to do a $500 stimulus check. They opened it up actually literally just the week right before Christmas. So this is something brand new that we haven't shared yet. And they actually did admittedly end up having this for a very limited supply. And they actually sadly ended up closing applic, not that they closed, but I think it's that they, they filled up applications about one to two weeks later, essentially right before New Year's. But the idea really is that this is just basically one city and then also just one of just many, many individual places that are contemplating and are still to this day opening up applications to do stimulus checks. I believe Seattle did have a stimulus check of some kind, but they did actually end up like running out because they capped up um, the limit, limit of applications as just mentioned with St. Louis as well. But the big thing is, is that many people are hoping right now that the fact that the program even at least exist in general, maybe going forward, they can end up reopening applications again and trying to invite more people to get onto this because this can actually be a very big lifesaver and relief. And again, because this is all stuff that's been happening 
over the last like two weeks. So it is actually relatively recent and brand new information. Um, I do know one that we haven't really talked as much about is interestingly about education checks. So most people know that we kind of talked about in one of the other videos, which once again will be at the end of the screen, is that there are several states right now that are trying to do stimulus checks to help people that work in the education industry. So things like teachers, principals from K through college. But a brand new information actually interestingly is that there are actually many, many colleges now that are trying to interestingly now do their own stimulus checks, but specifically for students actually. And this one's actually a little bit more interesting because the background story to how this really works is, is that when they ended up approving the first three stimulus packages, one of the things that came with it was relief and funds to help support businesses but also interestingly schools because many schools are businesses so a lot of them actually ended up being able to have a lot of extra money that they were able to use and the great news is is that and this is actually a lot of big name colleges too like i believe they said this is something that's going on in like penn state Duke University, Florida State, many of the CUNYs within New York. So these are very, very big schools. They're not, you know, just, they're not, you know, Monsters University kind of, you know, small level schools. Um, but the idea is, is that what they're really doing is that they're hoping to create a stimulus grant, essentially to give many of their students money, something ranging from around one to even several thousand dollars. It's a little bit different than typical financial aid because this is essentially the grant, even though technically it is something that they're trying to give away to support students in their education, it is something that at the end of the day is very much optional. And it is also something that many students that may or may not necessarily qualify for financial aid, but regardless of whether they do or don't necessarily qualify for it, this is essentially a grant that's now hoping to help send more support to students during a time of much need to basically give them additional money on top of what they would have normally paid for their college tuition. So it is actually a lot of money. I mean, if you know there are students that are able to receive about three, four thousand plus dollars, that is a very, very major amount of money that they might have already had to pay regardless anyway. So the great news, at least some schools are now taking care and advantage of that. Um, but really beyond this is, is that that's what I really just wanted to share in today's update. So hopefully shared certain programs that are available obviously the big idea is that we are still waiting for more information for more decisions but at least things are still very much happening as we go into the new year so that being said if you guys enjoyed that or found it insightful and haven't done so maybe consider smashing the like button if it's all if you guys enjoyed that um consider subscribing hitting the bell of course you guys can decide and as always feel free to comment any questions personal thoughts about honestly anything so that being said thank you guys so much for watching as always stay safe stay well and have a really, really great, happy new year 2022 and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.